We're on the inside of the coach now. We're going to go with some things that you need to know here. So up here you have your monitor panel that's going to run lights here, showing you how much you have of each individual thing. While well, just push and hold on any of these to let you know where they're sitting. Water pump switch here, water heater, auxiliary battery, which is your battery disconnect for the coach. If I turn this off, the lights turn off, turn back on, lights are on. Generator on off switch here, slide room controls directly above it. You're gonna push it until it stops and then you release the button, don't hold it too long. You have an entry light switch, just one light that controls right inside the entry door here. Other ones are entry step, which will lock the steps out so that they don't close if you're in and out of the coach. Porch light, turn it on, turn it off. Awning in and out, that's gonna operate here. Push in, push out. Anytime you are finished using it, do not hold the button too long. You don't wanna burn up the motor. Coming over here, we'll talk about light your range. Lifting, and that sits down in, just like that. Turn the light, turn the igniter. That'll light your three top burners. The oven itself, however, you're going to have to manually light that. You start with the pilot, push and hold. Reaching in underneath, you're gonna use a lighter, and you're gonna light the pilot while pushing and holding. Once it's lit, you release, turn it to go. If it goes out, you're gonna have to do it again. You'll do that until the thermocouple kills the heat, and then it will stay on. Lift, pull down. That way you don't bend the tabs. You do not have a 12 volt light and, and fan here. It's all done inside here. So you will need power for this infection microwave for any of its functions, which includes the light and the fan that are usually over the range in some other coaches. Down below here, there is a lever that shows you normal flow or bypass. What that is, is a water heater bypass for winterizing purposes. Right here is where remotes are going to be located for different things in the coach. Below that, you're going to find breakers and fuses, all labeled for your convenience. Coming over here, turn the refrigerator on. You want to see that light come on? If that light is not on, but the light inside the fridge is on, that means it's set directly to gas. You're going to prefer auto, that way it uses electricity at a campsite, and in the event the power goes out, it's going to switch to gas. Right now we're not on power, so it's going to use its gas. The only other thing to know about the refrigerator is up in the corner here is the thermistor, and that's going to read the temperature. The higher that this little white sleeve goes, the colder the refrigerator. I'll turn that off. Every customer gets a paper telling them what type of maintenance they need to perform on the coach. Then we're going to move back to hall. So coming back here, you're going to have fan mode and you're going to want to leave that in auto anytime you want to use your heat. Okay, because if you're using gas heat and this fan mode is in the on position, if you're under power, the fan in the air conditioner is going to kick on. You're going to change your temperature here. You're going to switch which mode you want, whether you want cool, you want gas heat, or electric heat, which is actually heat powered by the air conditioner in the roof. High and low fan speed. The light switches for the hall here. And you're gonna find some light switches throughout the coach that operate different ones. Coming in here, we're gonna talk about how to use your toilet bowl. There is a little diagram on the lid that lets you know, but I'm gonna explain that right now. So halfway down on this pedal line is water, all the way down is flush. And there's a little bit of pressure on the lines from the test. Anytime you're going to use your sprayer to use it, you're going to have to be pushing the pedal to actually get water to come out. Otherwise, you can't just pick it up and start squirting the bowl. Over here, you have another water pump switch, and there's about three of those water pump switches located around the coach for convenience where you're using the water if you have to. Otherwise, last thing though is you're going to want to make sure that this is flipped over anytime you're traveling so that your glass door doesn't swing open and break.